This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is an Israeli military padlock, though clearly one intended for low security applications. I'm told that the Hebrew writing on it denotes the IDF's logistics corps. It was sent to me by Odette in Israel, who was having some trouble picking it and wanted to see if I'd have better luck. And if we look at the bottom, we can see it's scratched up pretty badly, probably from a lot of picking attempts. Now, I was able to pick this open, but upon examination, I also discovered that this lock is bypassable, something that's troubling for a military lock, even a low security one. So let's pick it open, and then I will show you how it can be bypassed. I'm going to use bottom of the keyway tension with this little wiper insert and a standard hook in 18 thousandths. Using pretty stout tension, number one is binding. Nice click out of one, click out of two, three is binding very tightly, click out of three. And we just dropped into a false set, so definitely at least one spool in here. Counter rotation on four. Okay, I think we got four set, but I must have dropped a pin or two because we lost our false set. Nothing on one, two, oh, there we go. Number three is binding again, and we just got this open. So not too bad a pick, but let's take a look at the bypass now. Now, normally this is not a mechanism that can be bypassed. If we look down the shackle hole, we can see the locking lug is directly attached to the core and it rotates into position as the key is turned. However, if we look at the bottom of this lock, we get a pretty good idea of why this is bypassable. This lock has very long pin channels that were drilled from the top during the manufacturing process. More than enough room in those pin channels to push both the key and driver pins above the shear line with a comb pick that allows the core to turn, which releases the shackle. And to make matters worse, using a comb pick like this looks an awful lot like using a key. You just insert it into the keyhole, press all those pins up above the shear line, and turn. As you can see, we got into this one very quickly. So, Odette, as for picking, the tolerances on this lock are above average, which means that you do need to be disciplined with your tension, especially when setting the spool pin in the back. Other than that, there really isn't that much to it. But the real news here is the bypass. I have no idea what the IDF uses these for, but unless it's ballast on their ships, they should really consider replacing them. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.